Hi, this is Paul from Sale Mobiles, and this is an unboxing on the Nokia 108. So this is not the dual SIM version, this is just the one SIM version. So basically this was £15 in Asda, and it's also, this is on Vodafone, it's also on Asda Network and Virgin at the same price. Okay, so this is the box. There you go. Let's unbox it. Two secure tags for some reason. Radio. So got the box undone. Okay, so first thing we're greeted with is the SIM card. So take the SIM card out, put that aside, and we have the phone. Put that aside, and underneath this, we have 3.5 headphones. So, there you go, they're standard Nokia ones, so they're not too bad. I've actually tested these already on another phone, and these are actually a pretty good headphones. Okay, let's put them aside, and you've got your small Nokia pin, there you go, and then that just pulls out there, like so. That's just Standard Nokia charger, pretty much. Most of them are still like that, or they're um, micro. Okay, also we have an instruction manual. This is basically 108, or the dual SIM 108. So basically this is the manual for both of it. Because obviously apart from the SIM, that's the only difference. And then we also have the battery. Okay, so let's put it in the phone. And get it all up and running. Okay, so before we get it all set up, basically in the back of the phone, obviously you've got your space for your SIM card, um, and then you've got a space for your micro SD, which takes up to 32 gig as well, which is not too bad. And basically, then you put a battery in, and that is basically it. And then, right, okay, so on the front of the phone, you've obviously got your um, speaker for listening. And then you've got your mic here, and then obviously you've got your buttons down on the front, which I will show you what they're for in a bit. And then you've got your charger point now, 3.5 headphone jack, and your torch. And on the back, you have your camera and loudspeaker. Okay, so before we turn the phone on, the weight of the handset is 70 grams, which is not too bad, so it's quite a light handset, which is brilliant if that's what the sort of thing you're looking for so it has a loudspeaker it's got a 3.5 headphone jack as I said it takes up to 32 gig micro SD you can store 500 contacts on the actual phone and obviously you can store about 200 on the sim depending what sim you've got it's got Bluetooth version 3.0 it's got a 640 by 480 megapixel VGA camera it videos in QVGA at 15 frames per second and you are looking at an FM radio on it as well which is brilliant it has got a game on it the game on it is snakes I will show you that the colors you can get it in are black white red blue or yellow so this is just the standard black so you've got um, polyphonic ringtones on it which is good you can also set um, music as ringtones as well basically has a standby battery of 600 hours which is absolutely brilliant you've got a talk time of 13 hours and 40 minutes which is excellent as well and it will play up to 41 hours of music which is brilliant so if, if you're using it just for like the radio or something like that which is you know what I mean it's a cheap radio really at the end of the day especially as you get the headphones with it as well so that is basically on the features it's uh, running basically it says 2G it's running 900 and 1800 band so this is pretty much standard and obviously it has a flash as well okay and the, the screen is a 1.8 inch screen and it has 65,000 colors TFT screen as well so there you go okay so let's get it on and see what features we got
Okay, so now the handset's on, basically I'll take you through the buttons. Your main button is this one here, and obviously that is your menu button and scroller around the basically all the menus. So if you press the middle button, that will take you through to the menu, and then you've got on the side of the button here, that's your up button, down here is your down, you've got your left and your right, and then obviously wherever the blue circle is, that is what you're on, and then you just press the middle button and that takes you through to whichever um, feature you wanted. So on the main screen you've got call register which will take you through to missed calls, received calls, dialed numbers and delete basically all your lists and then you've got call duration and obviously that will be whatever you've called. And then coming up there you've got contacts so you've got name, search, add contact, delete, copy, move, selecting, uh, sorry selecting settings in settings, you've got your voicemail number, contact views, so you basically view name and number or name only. And then you've got your memory status, that's your memory status. And you've got backup contacts, backup contacts uh, to your memory card. That's a new setting, that's pretty good. That's a good idea, I like that. I've not seen that on a phone before, on uh, and basically a cheapish Nokia. And then you've got speed dialing and no no screening there you go okay so you come out of that and over here you've got music so you've got your radio and you've got your music player for obviously you can store up to as many up to 32 gigs worth of music on it if you wanted to and play just through your headphones okay and then coming down here you've got pictures so these are the pictures that you basically want to capture a picture and then you go, go to your camera and then you've got received images, so there's no received images. And basically nothing in there apart from pictures and there's nothing in there either. Okay, coming down, you've got clock, so you've got alarm, set alarm, alarm tone, set the time, and that's basically it. And then coming over here, you've got settings, so these are your ringtones. Go through to here, let's play a few. So it's actually got a nice vibrate to it. It feels, it's not, it, it's not too bad. You can actually sort of feel it, but it's not too loud either. Nice loud ringtones. Yeah, very nice loud ringtones. So that's with the volume fully up, and obviously you've got your vibrate, and then you've got your standard um, message tones. So you can set a ringtone to a message tone as well. And then going down, you've got your keypad tone, and then you've got your warning tones. So that's basically it on that. Then you've got your Bluetooth, so you can pair up devices and do what you usually do with Bluetooth. And then you've got display settings, so you've got your wallpaper, um, display here, uh, info display, and you've got your backlight timings, so you've got normal or extended, so that's basically for when it goes out, how long you want to have it going out. Um, standby, scre uh, standby screen, um, so yeah, you can have that on, and then you've got notifications, and that's about it. And then coming out of that, you've got profiles, so the You've got your general um, silent, discreet, loud, and then you can set your own. Coming down here, you've got time settings. So you've got your um, clock and your date settings, and your formats and stuff like that. And you've got call settings, you've got call diverts, automatic, auto, automatic dialing, call waiting services, send basically caller ID. So you can either have that on or off or default. And then you've got um, screening again. Coming up there, you've got phone settings. So you've got languages. Let's see what languages are on it. See if there's quite a few. Not many. About 10 languages. And you've got um, key guard settings. So you've got auto key guard. Key guard with a code. So basically a password if you want to have that on. And you've got network, se network selection. Startup tone welcome note and then configure sim service that's just if you want to 
and you've got cost settings which don't really do unless you really want to do that it's basically tracking calls and how much it's going to cost you and that's just for your headphones and setting different um, different settings on your headphones and you've got security settings you've got your pins your barring services um, closing user groups and in phone security and in changing the access codes to phone security and whichever ones okay so go to settings that's the selection on the main thing which is on this button here that will take you through to all these so you can select which ones you want on the actual um, front screen so it's basically go to here so you can change those to whichever order you want them in which is that's a quick menu basically very good it makes it easier okay so where were we um, we were down here and then you've got um, restore factory settings okay so coming over here you've got video player so basically video player is your videos what you take so let's take a picture and see what it's like okay so that's a picture I've just taken it's not too bad it's not brilliant but it's not bad um, let's go over to a video let's see what that's like Okay. Okay, so it's not fantastic, but what do you expect for a fifteen pound phone? So you got to you got to admit it's not too bad. And then after that, we are coming down, and we have your games. So this is your snake. Snake, I'd imagine near enough everyone's played Snake. I'd have thought so anyway. So there you go, that's Snake. Um, my top score is 100, which is not too bad. Um, so you can put other games on it as well, if I believe, if you want to download some, possibly. Nope, you can't. So no, that's the only game you can have on it. And your extras are basically reminders, calculator, converter, and um, countdown, countdown timer, calendar, stopwatch, flashlight. So flashlight, we'll just put that on. There you go, that's your flashlight. Okay, come out of that. And then over here is basically Vodafone services. That's services from them which you have like text through to you, but they will cost you loads of money, so don't do that. Okay, so going back to the main menu, you've got your camera there. You don't have to, you don't have to obviously um, use that one. You can, I believe you can change that as well. And this is your go-to. So you go to quick there, basically press that, that's your keys lock. And then it used to be, you used to press these and it used to come on. But now you press the on button or the off button and then press that button there so that basically puts your keys lock um, takes your keys lock off and then this puts it on so there's no like that one uh, the main menu and star button anymore it's basically that and that which is different this button down here star button if you press and hold it that will take you through straight onto your radio if you had your headphones plugged in and the hash button will basically put you straight on silent like a lot of phones do that, press it again, puts you back on general, which is your loud. Okay, so I'm now going to try and do some pairing up with another phone because I believe you can bump them. So let's have a look, see if we can do that. So this is one of the new features on here. It's called Via Slam. So you get basically get your picture. And this is what you can do between Nokia's and maybe other devices as well. You go Via Slam. It's basically like you did in the olden days with Bluetooth. Um, you put the two devices together and then it basically searches for it so it's found it. It says accept to this one. You say accept. File goes over. That's done. And you go open that one. And there you go. So that's the picture that I took earlier. So yeah, it's alright. It's basically Bluetooth. 
not too bad it's, it's something different okay so that's been my review and unboxing on the Nokia 108 I hope you liked it and I hope it's helped you out if you needed to be helped out it's a nice little phone it's definitely a, you know what I mean for the price of it it's well worth going to buy if you just want a basic phone for work or something like that especially if it's got the camera on it it's not a great camera but if you needed a camera say if you had an accident and you needed to take a picture then you could yeah, it wouldn't be brilliant but it would still do the job okay so thanks for watching please thumbs up the video and if you're not already subscribe buttons down there subscribe to see lots more reviews on lots more phones thanks for watching and goodbye